Hello again. We're raising questions, and this time we're having nothing to do with politics. I'm sick and tired of it, and people have been writing in. They're, they're overwhelmed by the show. There's a lot, of, lot to, uh, to think about uh, in politics, and so people have said, let's do another uh, topic. And so I've decided on culture, and I'm going to show you a little bit about painting. As a matter of fact, it's a painting lesson. We've got a camera over there that will uh, hopefully uh, kick in and show you uh, how, how to paint a picture. That's what we're doing. Of course, we have brushes, and we have paints right here, and other paints are over here. They're shielded from the lights by the picture, by the canvas. And so that's why you can't see the, the palette itself. And then, of course, the painter's hat. And we're pretty much all set, a little bit of champagne. And you just start, it's very easy. You pick up a brush, obviously, and dip it into the paint, and start out with a, what I would call, let's say, a master stroke, you know, broad brush uh, to off to the left. Never off to the right to start with. Never, never, never. That is totally amateurish. And while we're doing that, one, th one thing uh, that this particular painting, which is of a person I know named Elizabeth, and uh, her nickname is Lisa, as a matter of fact. Um, this is going to be pretty good, I think. Uh, I've practiced this. And uh, she was talking to me the, just the other day uh, about uh, the bears that have been wandering out of, out of the woods near Hanover, out of Mink Brook. And uh, we're very upset about that. We're, we're upset at some authority's solution to the problem of the bears getting out uh, and the solution is, well, let's just kill them. Not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. That puts you in a bad mood for painting in the first place. And so the thing to do is for everybody uh, to call their state representative, call the government, and tell them, let's put that plan on hold. And as a matter of fact, I was told a few minutes ago, the plan may very well have been put on hold, and uh, we need to congratulate the officials who made that decision. That is a wonderful thing. Um, now we're moving slightly over to the left here, just to add a little bit of detail, as you can see from the other camera, uh, hopefully. Uh, on the eyebrows, and we're going to pick up another brush that's better uh, made for that, and switch to a different color as well. Uh, you know, talking about color, as a matter of fact, there's a lot of color coming out of the White House lately. And one, uh, there's a lot of color always out of the White House, and uh, colorful news, that is. And lately, I heard that uh, part of that news is a new plan to send more boys and girls, more soldiers, from America to Afghanistan. We need, say the officials in DC, more people fighting the bad guys in Afghanistan. That's obviously totally wrong. That's crazy. Again, how old are the people making those decisions? What are they, 12 years old? Doesn't anybody remember Vietnam? Remember Vietnam? All the generals and the presidents telling us, we only need 10,000 more forces to defeat the Viet Cong. Didn't work. Now we buy shirts and other clothes from the Vietnamese. Why didn't we just buy them 50 years ago and bypass the war? All right, we don't know what's going to happen in Afghanistan under the current plan. All right, we're moving slightly more to the left here. We're getting fairly close to the finish. And it's very important to keep all this stuff in mind, the, the pointers uh, that I've already pointed out. And we're going to stay away from politics except for congratulating a guy named Mr. Corbyn in England. The English and the rest of the people on the island over there are having elections very soon. And Mr. Corbyn is the leader of the Labor Party. And he said something brilliant. Namely, you know why there's terrorism? There was a recent horrible terrorist attack in Manchester, England. You know why that happens, that kind of thing? It's because other countries, like Britain, are constantly, or too often, at war where the terrorists dwell. You know, it's no surprise whatsoever that we've got terrorism out of the Middle East. How come nobody mentions that the targets of terrorism, terrorism are ultimately the countries that terrorize the Middle East and colonized it along with other places like in Africa. How come nobody wants to talk about that? Now, I'm glad Mr. Corbyn has. All right, so we're moving um, over here. Now we're just finishing up some of the shadows on the face. And I've just been told, by the way, I've signaled that uh, your camera back here didn't work. So I'll turn this around and show it to you. But it's, it's 
really pretty easy, um, especially if you've got talent. And uh, the last, well, something else, I was just reminded, because, because I was rushing through this, I was rushing through this. Um, we now know, I've just been informed, we have a great news staff here at the studio, and they have informed me of, of the fact that the president did collude with the Russians around the time of our elections. It is, it's an actual fact. Um, and what we're saying here is, and this is, this is the amazing news, President Vladimir Putin colluded with the Russians. Now, I, I know that's devastating, so let's you know, go back to culture for a little bit more positive news. And here we are, we have finished. There it is, and I hope you absorbed the lesson. I hope I was clear about how to do this painting. Relatively simple painting of my friend. Uh, her first name is Mona, and her nickname Lisa. And we'll be back again with another foray into culture.